everyone, it's Sarah and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to crochet my basic baby bonnet pattern. I love this pattern because it is an open lacy bonnet so it's not too warm to wear but it also adds just a little bit to keep that chill off in the spring. It's stitched in v-stitches with a nice shell stitch on the trim and if you don't want that shell stitch you can just stitch a row of single crochets and make it just a little bit less feminine. The pattern comes in four sizes. You have a preemie size that is going to be for an 8 inch head. You have a newborn that's for a 10 inch head. You have a three month size that is for a 12 inch head and then the biggest size is six months for a 14 inch head. Originally, I only had it in three sizes, but I had a lot of requests for the larger size, and so we updated the pattern, retested, and we're making a brand new video. And the blog, where you can find the written pattern, will have brand new pictures. And you can find that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. Now the bonnets, as well as today's demonstration, I'm going to be using Baby Hugs by Red Heart. This is a light yarn. It's a number three weight yarn. And you're going to need about two to three ounces depending on what size bonnet that you make. This skein has four and a half ounces. So if you get one of these and, an, and a second one for your trim, or you can do the trim in the same color, you'll have plenty of yarn. We're going to be stitching today with our H hook. This is a 5.00 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle and then you'll need your scissors. Now the body of the bonnet is stitched in one color and then the trim and ties is stitched in the second color. And I'm going to use my leftover from this yellow bonnet to trim my coral bonnet. I'm going to be demonstrating the preemie size bonnet and then I will give you instructions on how to make the other sizes as we go along. We're going to begin with a slip knot and I'm going to chain 14 chains. Now 14 chains is for the preemie size bonnet. If you're making the next size up, which is the newborn size, you're going to need to chain 16 chains. If you're making the three month size, you're going to need to chain 18 chains. And if you're making the six month size, you'll need to chain 20 chains. But since I'm making the preemie size, I only chained 14 chains. Now what I'm going to do is begin with a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and stitch a single crochet all the way down and stitch two single crochets in the last stitch. This is the same for all sizes. The only difference is you'll have more stitches for the bigger sizes. All right, never count the loop on your hook. Here's our first chain. We're going to go in the second chain and stitch a single crochet. Then we're going to stitch a single crochet in each stitch or each chain across. So we'll go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through both loops, working all the way across our chain. And again, this is the same for all sizes. Once you've single crocheted across your chain, Till you reach your last chain. On the last chain, we're going to stitch two single crochets. One and two. Now we started in the second chain from the hook and then we stitched two in the end. So we're going to have 14 single crochets. And of course, if you're doing the next size up, you'll have 16 or 18 or 20, depending on the size you're making. Now we're going to turn our work and we're going to be working back down what's called the other side 
or opposite side of the chain. We're going to begin right in that first chain and stitch two single crochets, one and two. Then we'll go working down the side of that chain. We're stitching one single crochet, whoops, <laughs> in each chain across. I guess I have a little yarn barf there I need to deal with, huh? All right, so now I'm just stitching one single crochet in each of those chains, working down the opposite or other side of the chain. And your stitch count for this side will be the same. There we go. And then we get to the end, we only put one single crochet in that last stitch. We're going to just chain one for now so you can see. One single crochet in the second chain from the hook, one single crochet working all the way up, two single crochets <clears throat> in the last stitch. Then we turned, working back down the other side of the chain. We started with two in the first stitch and then one in each stitch across. So since we started with 14 on this side, we'll have 14 on that side or whichever size you're doing. So the total all the way around from here all the way around will be 28. If you're doing the next size up, which is the uh, newborn size, you'll have 32. If you're doing the three month size, you'll have 36. And if you're doing the six month size, you'll have 40 because you're counting this side and this side. All right, for row two, for all sizes, we're going to take that chain one, add two more to it, so we have a chain three, and turn our work. We'll place one double crochet in the second chain. We're going to skip the next stitch and stitch two double crochets in this next stitch. One and two. And this is the way the pattern will work. Stitching all the way around is skip one and two double crochets in the next. Skip one, two double crochets in the next. So we'll skip that one and place two double crochets in the next. And we're going to do this working all the way around in order to get the shape of our bonnet. And again, this is for all sizes. The only difference is you'll have more stitches. Skip and two. Now we're up at the end of our bonnet here at the top and we're just gonna work right around it. Skip this one, two double crochets in the next. Skip the next one and two double crochets in the next. And you can see how it's sort of curving around in order to give us our bonnet shape. See how that's sort of curving around there? That's exactly what we want it to do. And I'm going to work back down this next side. Skip that one, two double crochets in the next, one and two. Skip the next one, two double crochets in the next. Skip the next one, and two double crochets in the next. And what you'll notice is after you've stitched your last two double crochets in the next, you only have two stitches left. And what we're going to do is we're going to skip that one, and then in the last stitch, we're going to stitch two double crochets. And then we'll chain three. And that's the way that row two should look. All right, let's do row three. We've already chained three, so we're going to turn our work. We're going to stitch one double crochet in that first, or in the next double crochet. Because our chain three counts as our first double crochet, so we place one double crochet in the next. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be placing two double crochets in between each of our two double crochet groups. 
not uh, next to them, but right in the center. So here's my first two double crochet groups. I'm going to go right between those first two and stitch two double crochets. One and two. And that's the way we'll work our bonnet. That's the pattern. Two double crochets between each of the two double crochets of each group. And it gives us a V-stitch appearance because we're going in between, but we're not chaining one in there because it makes it just a little bit too holy. All right? And we just don't really want it to be quite that holy. So let me show you what I'm doing. Here's our first two double crochets, and then I'm stitching two double crochets between each of the two double crochet sets. And we'll do this working all the way around our bonnet. So here's my next two double crochets. So I'm going to stitch two double crochets right in between those two double crochets. Working in each one all the way around our bonnet. There we go. Now I'm to the top here. I'm going to do the same thing. There we go. Two double crochets in between the two double crochets of each of those two double crochet sets. And see how the top curves around? We're getting our bonnet shape. All right, so here's my next two sets, or my next two of my next set. I'll go right in between. Next two, right in between, stitching two double crochets. Next one. All right, here's my last set of two double crochets together. And then we have those last two double crochets. And we'll stitch one double crochet in each of those two double crochets. And chain three. Okay. And this is how row three should look. We have one double crochet in the first two double crochets, and then two double crochets in the center of each of those two double crochet sets, working all the way around, and then one double crochet in each of the last two double crochets. So this is how your bonnet should look after row three. Now keep in mind, you're going to have more stitches for the bigger sizes. You'll have more sets of V stitches, depending on if you made you know, the preemie all the way up through the six month size, it's going to be bigger. But for the most part, this is exactly the way the pattern's going to work for as many rows as you need for your size. All right, let's do another row. We've chained three counts as our first double crochet, then we'll double crochet in the first double crochet, and then we'll place two double crochets in the center of each of those two double crochet sets working all the way around our bonnet. And again, it works exactly the same for all the sizes. It just depends on what size you're making, how many stitches you'll have. I've completed row four, just repeating row three, one double crochet in the first two double crochets, then two double crochets in between each of the two double crochet groups or sets, and then one double crochet in those last two double crochets. And the remainder of the bonnet part of the pattern is done exactly the same as row three. So what you're going to do is if you're making the preemie size, you're going to repeat row three for four more additional rows. If you're making the newborn size, you'll do six more rows. 
If you're doing the three month size, you'll do eight more rows. And if you're doing the six month size, you'll do 10 more rows. So you're just going to repeat row three, like we did on row four, for those additional rows for the size that you're making. Once you've done as many rows as needed for the size that you're making, we're going to cut off our main color. And we're going to bring in our trim color. Now, if you're doing yours all in one color, you don't have to do the cut off and add in like I'm doing here. All right. I'm going to move those just out of the way for now. We'll weave those in later. <laughs> there we go. All right, so there's my chain one. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn our work and we're going to be working back around this way. But what we're going to do first, we're going to place one single crochet in this first stitch. And now we're going to chain the amount that we need for the ties. The preemie size, we're going to chain 25. For the newborn size, we're going to chain 30. Three month, we're going to chain 35. And six months, we're going to chain 40. Now, if you want your tie longer or shorter, you can vary that any way that you want to. Just keep in mind to be careful about having your ties too long and becoming a strangling hazard. For the uh, preemie size, I'm going to chain 25 chains. Once we've chained the amount that we need for our tie, we're going to place a double crochet in that first chain. So yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, make those a little bit loose so they're not too tight to work with there on the end. We'll go through the first two loops, yarn over and go through those last two loops. Then we're going to turn and stitch slip stitches back up to our bonnet, stitching one slip stitch in each of the chains across. Once you've slip stitched back up your chain, one more to do here, then we'll single crochet right in that same stitch. And now we're going to do the trim working around the edge of our bonnet. We're going to skip the next stitch and then we're going to stitch three double crochets in the next. Now, if you prefer not to have the shell stitch trim, you can just stitch single crochets in each of the stitches around. And that way, if you're making this for a boy, it won't be quite so feminine. We'll skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next. We'll skip the next stitch and stitch three double crochets in the next. Skip single crochet in the next and skip three double crochet in the next. And this is just a basic little shell stitch to give the edge of our bonnet just a little bit of cuteness. We'll repeat this shell stitch pattern working all the way along the front of our bonnet. Single crochet, skip the next stitch, three double crochets in the next. And this is for all sizes of the bonnet. You're going to work the shell stitch as far around as you can get and wherever you end, make sure you have one stitch left on the preemie side. You're going to have a shell stitch 
and then you'll have one stitch left and it doesn't matter where you end on the trim you just want to make sure in that last stitch you stitch a single crochet all right and then we're going to chain the same amount we did for the first tie on the second tie and since I'm doing the preemie size I'm chaining 25 I've completed my second tie I joined to my first single crochet there and now what we're going to do is we're going to stitch a row of single crochets evenly across the bottom of our bonnet this can be just a little bit challenging and so I really encourage you to take your time and try to go in the stitches that are on the ends of the rows not the holes now you may have to put one in a hole from time to time but I think it just looks better and it holds up better if we try to put them in the ends of the stitches and not in those little gaping holes so basically we're just stitching a row of single crochets evenly across there is no set amount of stitches you're going to need to eyeball this and just look at it and make sure you're getting your stitches close but not too close and not too far apart now if you want to count how many stitches you put on this side when you get to the center and try to put the same amount of stitches on this side that's a good idea as well but there isn't a set amount of stitches you're just going to use your eyes and put your stitches together as close as you can without being bunchy and not too far apart I just kind of stop and look at mine from time to time to see how it's laying if I like how it's looking because if you don't just pull it out and try again I've stitched across all the way around the bottom and I'm going to join to this first single crochet where we first joined on with a slip stitch and tie off if my scissors will cut huh <laughs> all right let's pull that string to the inside of our bonnet and now we just have a few tie uh, strings to tie off right there all right and not any other place except of course in the center where I've already weaved that in but this is your little basic bonnet this one of course is the preemie size and you can add flowers you can add ribbons bows lace whatever you want to and you can even add little patches or buttons for the boys as well I love these when my kids were little because I could put them on them tie the bow and then if their ears or their head got warm I could slide it off and it could hang off the back of their jacket and then when they got cool I could just slide it back on so here are all four sizes together preemie newborn three month and six month size bonnets great for boys and girls spring and summer and fall and you can make them in any colors that you want these are bright colors but pastels would be beautiful as well add embellishments or whatever you want and they also make perfect photo props